Morning! It's morning! How oh, did you sleep? It's, it's time. time. <laughs> the hazard warning lights wouldn't work, the indicators wouldn't work, the central locking wouldn't work. Right, it's safe to say that it's been a stressful day. Oh, it weighs a ton! I'm not surprised when you've done a freaking plop in there. How did you sleep? It took me a long time to get off. It did me, but you were snoring before, well before I fell asleep. But when I got off, oh, it's so cosy, this bed, it's so comfortable. It feels like a Simba, doesn't it? It's that, oh, yeah. it's that it stiffness of a Simba. Yeah, and um, it was quiet all night long. A few cars, but they were mainly, it were mainly owls and just like yeah, I'd, animal noises. I just, I felt like I were in a normal bed in the lodge. It's <sighs> a, there's a slight tilt going that way, and I could feel that. And I did bang my head on that a couple of times, well my hands anyway, when I turned over. Um, but I did. I do need another pillar, I'm afraid. I need to get another one. Right, I've put the hot water on, so we've got um, water doing for the shower. It's actually done, it actually took about 10 minutes. When you put it on electric, it takes about half an hour. Um, I'm just about to uh, disassemble the bed, so he's going to have to scrunch up or get out of it. I'll and the butty up. van has arrived, um, so I'm going to send Lee, once he's got dressed, to go and get us a sausage sandwich for breakfast. Right. Get that on your half. Am I off it? Yeah, but your trotters are sticking out. Right, so we lift this up, pull the blankets off, pull that back, take this out, like that. That'll just stow away. And then we took all this under here until tonight and bed's made there we go jobs are done it's time, time. <laughs> Nick needs a number two this will determine my life back in a moment well I'm glad that's over not too bad at all actually um, a little bit cramped, but not as cramped as I thought it would be. But at least I've tested it now, number one's number twos. Thank you for watching. Right, until Lee gets up, I'm gonna have a walk to the bin, drop that off in the bin. There's some litter bins and picnic areas on this site. And um, it's a little bit warm in the van now, so I'm just gonna open the door and let some of this beautiful sunshine in. And Lee can freeze to death now. Nice little stream there. You get out of bed if you don't like it. So I'm gonna get the rubbish. Do you want the door open? No. Get out, you lazy sod. <sighs> I'm back. Spoke to the man in the uh, burger van. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. He says, get yourself a belly buster. And he says, why are you filming, Bin? <laughs> so I had to explain what we were doing. Right, are you going to get up? Yeah. Shower time now. <sighs> right, we're up and just getting uh, shaved and stuff, just catching up with theme park Baza. Stop wasting power. <laughs> In the round letters of Maxine. And data. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you um, the condensation that we've had. That's all that we've had. Which there was, was a little bit more in the night, but because... How do you know? Because I looked. Uh. So we're quite pleased with that, because obviously condensation is a thing that you've got to worry about. So there's just that, and then over here, there's a little bit as well, just a little bit, but not much at all. That's not bad at all, is it, really? No. But last night, when we were trying to get to sleep, a car pulled up to the back doors, like within five feet, with its headlights on full beam, and sat there for half an hour. And then another car turned up, the headlights went off, they got out, and then five minutes later, they both left. Mm. No, yeah, but... Maybe they were doing like a drug swap or something. Oh, well, a bit dogging. What well, did... they were fast if they did. What did the... Um... Let me just mute Mazza. 
we'll come back to you, Maxine. Um, what did the guy in the camp, uh, the butty van just said to you? He said, get a be belly buster. And a few other stuff he said, didn't he? Uh, he said that the spring behind me was fed by Dolby, uh, Dolby Forest. Uh, it takes three days to come from Dolby Forest to get down here. I don't know how he's tried that, but... Uh, three days to get down here and then he said it runs into like a lagoon at the back where we saw the swans yesterday yeah. and then he says eventually it goes out to sea and nick was telling him that we did youtube and he wants us to film him on the vlog yes <laughs> so, film the van which yeah. we're going to do anyway so yeah so once we'll, lee gets some clothes on i'm just gonna have a shave and then we'll go and get a get a butty Big sausage to share sausage each oh that's a bit much right it's time for breakfast at grandma's kitchen it is a bit nippy this morning, at least the sun's out though. It's windy as well. So there we are, Grandma's Kitchen. It's here all the time if you're ever in the area and you can um, search for it on Google as well because I've looked. Two cheese and two sausage sandwiches, isn't yeah? Well, yeah. <laughs> Nice cup of tea <laughs> and a uh, nice sausage sarni from Grandma's Kitchen. Drowned in the nice. pea. We've got one each, sod it. Yeah. Shower time. Lee's in there first. I've told him not to run the water off, otherwise we'll have to wait until the water warms up again. He's had three turns of the tap for like 30 seconds each. So fingers crossed, this is gonna be like the least water we've used now we've got used to it. Oh, I think he's finished, that's his third one. No way you're done. Well, you've only had, you must have only, it must have been like a cup of water you've used. Ooh, means I can have a hot shower now. I've just looked at the meter on the uh, the tank, as well as the uh, thing under the sink. He's only used one litre of water. That were a proper camper van. Uh, I didn't think you would, was capable of doing that. Is anyway, it? he's lathered, he's wet, lathered, rinsed, and then another blast to get all the residual soap off. So, my turn. Nice hot shower for me. Right, we've showered, we've tidied up, we've got dressed, we've cleaned his teeth, we've done everything. Um, so, the van is spotless, and we've just booked our second night for tonight on a proper campsite with a pitch-up, proper pitch-up and electric hook-up, Drain, drains, Wi-Fi, all sorts of stuff like that because that's what we want to try tonight, like one like that for, you know, when we're out and about we'll, we just need to just do something like that. Um, so first of all we're going to go to just somewhere local like a pound search or something like that um, to get all the things that we've already got on our list from last night where we'll be like yeah we need that, we need that, we haven't got any washing up liquid, liquid, no dish um, brush, dish brush, even though I've ordered that off Timu. Um, but we'll get some stuff today, um, just for tonight, for the, the stuff that we forgot. Right, so um, the one camper van's left, another one's turned up, people are having picnics over here, and uh, the sun's just this second gone in, and we're off onto our next adventure now. They've got a little dog in there with the camper van. Have they? Yeah. Oh, that'd be cute, wouldn't it? Right, it's not, oh, that's not little, it's massive. <laughs> yeah, but they've got a big camper van. Right, we left the park up, and as soon as we started pulling out of the car park, we started getting error lights on the dashboard. Uh, and when we looked them up, it was, first one Lee was driving with the handbrake on, which was separate, and then another one that says the brake light system warning. Um, well, it wasn't just a warning light, things stopped working. Yeah, not just that, the hazard warning lights wouldn't work, the indicators wouldn't work, the central locking wouldn't work, it was some kind of electrical fault. But the engine was working, we could drive it fine. So we pulled over and we turned um, the power to the battery off, disconnected the leads, put it back in again, and it all worked after that. So we drove on and thought, oh, it must have been a glitch. And then we did it again, then it did it again further down the road. It's all a bit of a blur. We're still trying to piece it together, isn't it? Then we went, to, then we were running out of fuel. So the fuel warning light came on. So we went to Morrison's and we, we filled up some fuel in the uh, the tank. Please just stalled it. Uh, right in, we're right in the middle of a junction. Oopsies. Let me let Lee get across the road. Right, we've cleared it. So then we were driving to Morrison's and before, the, the previous time before it went funny, the sat-nav, when we pulled the keys out, didn't shut off. Now that's um, a CAN bus issue with the sat-nav, I think. Then we went to Morrison's, pulled into Morrison's, it was all fine at that point, filled up with fuel, got back in, turned the engine back on, and now the radio doesn't work at all. So we think the radio may have caused there's a little CAN bus adapter on the radio that sends signals back and forth to the van and I think it might be, it may have gone tits up and it's been sending the wrong information to the van's CECU. This is just this is just a guess, but the radio is completely dead now, it doesn't work. So we are heading back to the lodge. 
um, so I can get my tools and I can take the radio out and see whether the radio's blown up. Um, but the van itself is absolutely fine now, there's no error warning lights, it's the only thing that doesn't work is the radio. So if that's all it is I can live with it, but I don't, it was just a strange set of scenarios that happened, like the hazard warning lights won't work, the central locking, uh, the windows, it was like a power issue and well we just don't know do we really? At least I can go to the loo while we're at lunch. No that's cheating, <laughs> that's cheating. It's just dead. Not what we were expecting to be doing today. She's completely dead. So either there's no power to the this block, which I'll have to get a multimeter on, but there's literally no fuse has gone or anything like that. So who knows? Turn me turn me the ignition on. Is on. You can start it. Yeah. Nothing. It's funny that it will work in one minute and then. Yeah, but it, it did go funny before it it, it were acting funny. Do you know what I mean it wouldn't shut down? Well, if I can pick up a voltage on these cables here, so I need you to get them in the multimeter from the back, then the radio's just blown up. Right, I need you to start the van now. Yeah. Of power on that 13 volts. So the sat nav's just blown itself up. Yep, 13.3 volts. Right, what I want you to do. Oops, wait a minute. I've just done something. Right, I'm going to shove that in there. Can you watch that display? You're gonna have to hold this. Come on. You need to hold one in there, one in there. Keep watching that display while I pull the fuse out. Right, the cabin is a mess at the moment. All this and what have you. So we've just called it the lodge, obviously, as you saw, to try and fix it, but it won't. We, we can't it's fix completely it. Completely dead. Even um, though there's power to the port. So we have picked up the this one that we used in Taylor One. If you watch those vlogs when we went off in the camper van, we used this screen. So Nick's going to have a go at just ringing that up later. Um, so we've got something at least. The, the worst thing is now that the rear view camera doesn't work uh, for when you're reversing because it's a big tail as a big beast uh, for when you're reversing. But anyway, we're getting on the way because time is cracking on. It is now quarter to two and we've got to go to the shops to get all the things on our list. Um, that we know that we needed um, and we've got that um, had we not booked that campsite for tonight we might as well just, we might have just given it was a bad job today but we've booked it so uh, and it was 30 quid so we're, we're going to use it so we're going to go and get all our stuff maybe have a coffee down there because I'm a bit peckish now and then we'll get on to the campsite apparently it has sea view so it should be nice and then we'll show you around there and get ourselves set up there and it can have a look at this um, screen and see if you can get anything working. So today, so far, has not gone as planned, but we know that this kind of stuff is going to happen when we're on the road and we're not going to be around the lodge all, at all times, so we're going to have to get prepared for stuff like this out on the road and we'll be dealing with things like this all the time, I imagine. These two days are trial days yeah. for these kind of issues. Well, the first day went perfect. I didn't expect electrical issues, though. The first day went perfect. The second wooden day, not so much so far. Uh, but it's not the end of the world. It's not like a major problem. It's just, you know, these things are sent to testers and keep things interesting. Right, just having a coffee and a snack before we get our shopping done. That's weird. This is a mince pie tart. Ooh. It no. tastes like a mince pie, but custardy. Mmm. Very strange. And we're just waiting for a coffee and a toasty to come as well. Then we'll go and get his uh, shopping list done. Right, just getting a few stuff, so we need some more shower gel. All for the van. Um, shower gel, duster. bin bags, um, washing up liquid, a duster. You need a duster. Oh, okay. Right, we're back in Taylor and we are on our way to our next campsite.
here we are, Seaview Country Park. So it is called Seaview One. Uh, technically, yes, they've got a Seaview, but it's over the road and over a field, and there's the sea. I wonder if we'll be on end here. Oh yeah, I hope so. I bet we are. So um, I guess we've just got to park up here and uh, go right. into reception. You might have to go in because there's nowhere to park the van. Right, they've told us we can park. Hey, now look at size of that one. No, it's look got. It's <laughs> I love that one. Um, because we're, well, we're not going to get a sea view unless no. we are on the other side. Oh, unless you want to go there. No, you can't. That's static. Oh yeah. So there's the sea over there. It says because we're only here for a night, we can park wherever we want, basically. So it said just go and have a look around, and um, just pick one. We can't have 15 or 17, apparently. That's a nice one there. Where the end one. Up here. Right then. This is where we'll settle. And then. Um, We've got a, oh yeah, yeah we can see it, see? Woohoo! Perfect. Right, I can't believe how big... Oh, look, look, he's, he's getting his little, uh, or he's got a little 4x4 tractor. thing in in the end. Well, not a tractor, but like a quad bike or something, I don't know. Right, can we stay in here? Yeah, I like it. Let's hook up. Right, so here's his water. Randomly, there's there's like an electric hookup. But the last person left it, and we're just going to use it until they come for it. Unless we're on somebody's pitch and they've just gone out for a day. There's a lake there. Well, not a no, lake, but well, more a pitch. pond. Fifteen or seventeen. Yeah. So uh, some people obviously have static caravans here. There's the guy with the massive RV. Absolutely love that. I'd love to go look around that. It's ridiculous, the large. I know. Uh, right. Somebody with a caravan and a, a tent thing there. So. Uh, all right, let's get set up for night. Right, because there was a, a hookup cable, the last one, which was down there, and then we saw like a dog lead on the other side. We presume it's Sunday and he's gone out for the day, which we obviously don't want that. Um, so we've just moved down too. So we're a little bit closer to the massive RV. I want, look at the satellite dish. I'll try and get to know them and we'll, uh, I want to have a nosy around their uh, RV. I'd love to have a look around. You'll need to check that end bit off. It's so windy today. Every time we open the doors, it's kind of blowing them off almost. Right, you check that up there. Nice pictures, these. Uh, right, okay, so I'm going to take that off, stick it in there. We're on pitch number 27. Right, our first little uh, van uh, life haul. So we got a little extendable thing because this black door don't half attract. Um, dust so we need to keep that clean as does this as well it gets dusty even just looking at it so i like to keep things clean so i'll uh, use that later so we need some dishcloths and also a washing up little brush some washing up liquid nick sneaks them in when i'm not looking marshmallow pies and as you can see he's already opened it and i had a look he's just gone to have a look at the toilet blocks and washing facilities and stuff um Daisy Chain Antibacterial Fabulosa, some shower gel, um, some smaller carrier bags because all we've brought is really big ones, which is no use that we've realised. And two bottles of drinking water because we forgot to get any yesterday. We can use that to fill the kettle up with cups of tea, etc. So I'll just show you the views as well while I'm here. So, oh yeah, look, is that that person who I thought? It's a good job we moved. So that's where we were in the camper van site. Uh, they've got a really good pitch there because there's nobody at the side of them, so they've got um, all that garden. I'm sure you can hear the wind, maybe. It is wild today, but oh, that's well nice just sat here looking at the sea. Hopefully, nobody comes next door and then we can uh, keep looking at it. Here comes Nick. <laughs> He'll be having a nosy at that big camper van. That's huge. That's like something you see in America. I do. I did enjoy last night while camping, but I must admit, I, I like the feeling of like being on a site with all the facilities and you can sense the community as well, even though I've not actually seen anybody yet. You can just sense, you know, the people and everybody's here doing the same thing. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Well, it's got toilets, yeah. Elson Point, yeah. washing up facilities, and yeah. showers. Oh, well, I might have a shower tomorrow then. Mind you, I really long enjoy yesterday's shower. shower. What? Well, because the electric's free, we can warm the water and have long hot showers. As soon as you've had a number two, you can go and... Uh, Not yet, I'm going to fill it up properly. What, <laughs> with another one? Yeah. Nick oh, is back. just... Oh, well, that's a big van. Is that them on the end? Are we, uh, we were stealing their pitch. 
God, it's so cold. It's very wild and windy. We were going to go for a walk, but um, it's wild. Nick's just filling the water tank up. And you're going to fill it all the way to the top? You can't hear me. We found a connector. Um, we need to get like a pack of connectors. So um, we've got them all. I'm glad we didn't uh, stay in that spot down there. It'd been a bit embarrassing if they came back and we were just like all leisurely parked up in their spot. When our friends Megan and Mark came the other week, uh, they brought me this little gift, a van life notebook and journal. I'm just gonna start filling it in. So um, you go into each page and it says like trip to dates from to where we stayed, overall rating, who we traveled with, places we visited, what we enjoyed most, favorite place to eat, places to remember next time, um, notes and sketches and stuff like that. I thought that was really nice. Just so uh, I can remember all the places that we end up going. Very windy at the moment, but it doesn't matter because we're all snug inside. Mm. Got the fireplace on, it's just messing with the um, table. Fixing things. And I'm just looking out of the uh, back window over to the sea. You can see that tree, how much it's blowing. Don't mind the wind at the moment, but might keep us awake tonight if it carries on. You need to have a look at weather to see how wet it's going to last. Yeah. What are you doing? The dowling's come out. Ooh. Oh, and it's stuck in there? Yeah. <sighs> mm. Can you get me pliers from toolbox, please? For freak's sakes. It's because of that extender. Just get your sin under Take there. It. No, no, you get under there. It's that extender, that's what's caused it. What? Why the, the extender, extender just called Pulling that? the extender like well, that. Well, that's what the extender's for to be used. Well, you sat up there. Come on, get underneath. For fix sake. Under his um, door. Is it cold under here? I was just going to say, is it cold in there? Right, it's safe to say that it's been a stressful day. So it started off with this light on the dash, which has suddenly disappeared. And my current thoughts are one of three things. That the sat nav, which has also blown up by the way, has done something and sent something weird down the CAN bus adapter back to the car and created all these errors. Or, yesterday when we pressure washed, water's got in and it's got on the multi-purpose relay, which I've been Googling, which would affect the hazard warning lights, the wipers, the windows, and there was no mention on the Google about the brake light that came on the dashboard. Yeah. Uh, or, it's something to do with um, the fact that the batteries were so low, 45%, and then when we started the van, it started charging it, and it might have sort of sucked too much energy out of the batteries and, and diverted it to the back, I don't know. So, um, the, the, the problem's gone now, and it happened three times this morning on the way from the campsite to uh, Morrison's to get some petrol. And then as soon as we'd filled up, the sat nav wouldn't work and hasn't worked since, despite there being power to it. So, a friend of ours, Tim, is gonna bring us an old car radio on Monday, to plug in to see whether the, it's the power to the radio or the radio itself. Well, I've measured the, the voltage and I can see it right up to the back of the plate on the um, sat nav. It's still under warranty. So I've emailed the manufacturers in China and basically said, um, what can you do about it? Or have you seen this problem before, etc. Is there any way to reset it perhaps? I don't know. Um, so anyway, so we've we've got we're creating this huge list of things that we need to do. We've spotted a problem with the stability of the table, so it rocks, and it's to do with pulling the extender on and off. So we've had to put some silicon lubricant on that to help it, and then we've got a certain way now that we have to put the table on and off to stop it from rocking and pulling the dowlings out the wall. Um, we have. Um, Just making a cup of tea. Yeah, at least that over there. Waiting for kettle to boil. We've decided we're going to build another stool. We love it here. We love that is love that is the, because... that is the position. That is like that looks like a dog moving outside of you, and that's its head moving. Oh, Wishy boy, we had a little dog. Um, so I'm going to build another stool, and I'm going to build it the same size as the cushion that that's on the extender of here. So we've got a little. I'll turn it into a little shoe rack, and we'll just keep it in the corner by the door. Uh, just so we've got somewhere to sit near the door and we can interchange them around between the big stool and the little stool um, So I've got to do that We have also discovered that when we're washing that the bedding is Dangling almost in the sink. So what we've done is we've decided 
we're going to get another one of these which is like a dish drainer that you put on the side when you're washing your pots and then just tuck it into the bed so whenever there's any splashes from dishes it goes in there we haven't sealed the back we forgot to do that so that needs to be done when we get back we've got to screw the handles in from the back not into the holes that were provided through new holes what else well, we've got a list haven't we we've I got a big that's list that that's, that's we've building up it. we've got a lot of it today um like washing up liquid and brushes and things like that um i've also said it would have been ideal if we had a uh, a window here so we can see out into the um so it gives us an extra window then you can see out the front because it's nice to see out the front but that's not going to happen no, that's just... <laughs> i'm not going to hold in that that's my feature wall no chance um we need to put we need we like it when the doors have the ability to have the door open mm -hmm. But there's no way to keep the door open, so we have to look at some kind of bolt inside the door that we can shove up into the ceiling. Um, I've just been to the toilet. Um, thank you for, change, for sharing that. <laughs> I just wanted to say, I didn't take the camera. I might do it later because it's empty. What, I'm um, filming myself in a shower? The facilities here are great. They're spotlessly clean. The shower's yeah. spotless. It's all done up with like twinkle lights and flowers. and It smells really fresh and yeah, jays fluidy. You can tell that it's a family run place. You can tell they really look after it here. Um, so, yeah. Another thing as well is when we're in the cab on a night and we want to lock the door, actually we don't need to do that hole, do we? We were going to drill a hole so we can get to, we can push push the button down, but we can lock it centrally with central locking, mm -hmm. and then, and then when you want to open it, you just unlock it. Oh, you? you just open the latch and it opens the door, right? And then central lock it again, so we don't have to put holes in the wall, so I can cross that off. Um, I just love sitting here and looking out onto the... It's so cosy and warm inside here at the minute. Mm -hmm. We're running tonight because we paid for an electric hookup to test everything. The batteries are now fully charged. Everything's running on electric. We've got the hot water and the heating on constantly. So you can see there, both are flashing, uh, which means that the heating and hot water are running. The current temperature inside is 21 degrees. So we're going to have an abundance of hot water. I've topped the... Um, tank up we've put 60 litres in so we can have showers in here in the morning and we can both have hot showers well i suppose it, well, there was nothing wrong with it this morning but i always think when they're on site i might try it i might not it depends if it's well, you, have one, you have one on site and i'll have a hot if one in here if it's wild wind like this i might as well just stay near and use the water because it, 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 it's just like a normal shower that you don't you don't think you're in a van definitely no now our pitch has actually got um gray water dropping um but it's near the near the facility so i don't know how we're going to get it from our outlet into the drain do you know what i mean because the the, mm. the drain pipe is higher than than the the height of the the wastewater mm. let us know if you know so how, how the hell are you going to get that out i've no idea but if it was like floor level then we could just put a hose pipe on our gray waste connector Ooh. and let it run what you found great and let it run into the into the drain but it's not it's higher so i don't know how that's going to work so at the minute we're either capturing it in the wastewater tank which is under the floor down there or just letting it dribble outside it's just tap water but we've not fully tested it yet but um we've eaten all the snacks have we <laughs> all the yogurts have gone all the crisps have gone okay. every time we open the fridge it absolutely stinks of crisps garlic up there. cup of soup oh yeah there's some cup of soups and some crisps bread if you want to slice some toast i got some cheap wagon wheels as well we've got beans on toast um, a few, uh, grapes. There's not many jobs that I can fix at the minute. If then I had some screws, relax. I could fix these handles. Relax. It's a Saturday. It's a day for relaxing. We're watching Downton on the TV. We're we're, um, we're tethering from Lee's mobile. So far, the internet's been fine, and we've managed, and we've mm. uploaded a vlog, and we've watched TV. There is somebody. They have somebody come on the next pitch now. And um, this side as well. One over there, and one on this side. They've got a dog in the in the camper van. I can see it in the cabinet from, and. Um, it's just a, it's a really nice picture, uh, sight. That's my favourite spot yeah. there. So get out of my seat. It's mine now. Not sure how much you'll be able to hear me on here because it's very windy. But we thought we'd come out and see the sunset. Oh, oh it's freaking freezing. <laughs> you can hear a massive bang inside yeah. that van there. But it's not inside that's, that. That's the spot we took. It's not inside that van. I think there's bangs from over there, like oh, uh, shooting or something. Oh. So we thought we'd just come out and uh, see the sunset going down. So new, isn't it? Yeah, the, I think it's so it's very cold. new, this park. <laughs> it's the wind. When the wind stops, it's it's not bad. But uh, 
when the wind's howling. It's freaking freezing. Oh we're, my god. We'll go for, we're gonna go for a walk around there. You can sod off. Come on. Back it back. We'll get you. No, no, on, so you've got a, a hood on. <laughs> and there's the sea view. Wow, there's there, you? Oh yeah. She's just over there. At least it's nice and uh, oh, what? That's broke off a key. Oh no! I'm sure we can get it back on. Try and fix it. So you are quite close to a, a road here, but you can't hear it from in the van. It's a shame that's not like a pub. I think it's just like the on site office and. It's actually the pub. Uh, Cross Keys, I think it's about a mile down there. Oh yeah, there is, yeah. We're we'll we'll have, have, <laughs> have to drive. Well, yeah. We're we'll have to drive if we do. These are the facilities. The nice twinkly lights and the shop. Uh, yeah, it could do with a shop, but uh, they're very clean. I'll see if there's anybody inside. If not, I'll film a little bit. So they've got washing up facilities there. Nice. It so like clean. It is very Jeez, clean. Fluidity. Make sure there's nobody in. Ooh. Ooh. What? Oh. Oh. What's this? Oh. The golden, golden walk. walk. Also the little delivery here. Oh. We've got beans on toast. Screw beans on toast. Right, there's nobody in, we checked. So look at this, how nice this is. That's the showers, they're, they're uh, spotless. And uh, look at that. A bum with some roses in. A bum oh, right, with some okay. roses. So you've got two two showers, two toilets, yeah. and then, what's that one? Oh, that's like a cleaning cupboard for yeah. And then there's a family room out here if you've got little kids and you want to use a family room. You mean, and then uh, the room's over there. And uh, it's called Seaview Country Park. There's more to show you. The air fryer um, things need cleaning. Well, we can either wait until we get back to lodge tomorrow, come and do it There's here. hot water to do it at the uh, in the van. And then that is where you put your chemical toilet. And that's what you'll be doing tomorrow. That's what you'll be doing tomorrow. Excuse me, I've done number two in there. You've done number ones far more than I have. You'll be coming and doing it. Oh, I will not. Air fry time again. A bit of corn. Now, somebody just posted in our Facebook group. They were. It looks like they were in a camper van and they were making this. And it made me want it, even though we were going to have it anyway. So we're having this before we have our uh, filthy beans on toast. Nothing filthy about and beans I've on toast. Made a batch of um, seasoning to put on it. We had it last night, and um, somebody commented on a video about about corn as well, having absolutely no nutritional value. But I've looked it up, and it does have. It has got vitamins it's and got stuff. It's got protein. It's got potassium. Um, it has got lots of. Um, well, if you look at like Tesco's website at cut tins of corn, if you just look at if you Google it, what is the nutritional value? Because I did, and um, there is quite a bit. Just tell me that. Thanks. First time using the gas. Or as beans on toast. Well, yeah, we've never actually used the gas to cook anything on yet, have no. we? Now, you should have um, the fan running when you've got open flames. Mm -hmm. So, you want to put it on 10%. Just turn it on. And 10%, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's cooking already. And we've got, first time we're using the um, oven as well. We're going to use it to toast the um, the bread. The bread. I'm loving this, isn't it? What? It's only lit on one side, and it's not even that. It's lit on both sides now. I'm loving this little home on wheels. I think this is a bit high, actually. It's not staying lit. I wonder how long you have to hold it in. Nope, gone out again. Harry Potter is on the TV. Don't we're doing it now? Nope, going out. Hmm. This is one thing we haven't tested, have we? No, not yet. Turn it into a certain. It's gone out again. Nope, keeps going out. But if you get it on the right, um, yeah. Nope. As soon as I let go, it goes out. This is right on the oven. 
Is we've cooked pizza in the oven. Oh, here we have. Well, that's not even lighting. This is concerning. Well, we've, we've, we've cooked something in the oven. We've cooked pizza. Now we're thinking about the first time we've used it. Are you yeah, sure? Or did we repeat food? What? Mm. That's not good to say it's a non stick tray. Did we do the pizza in the air fryer? No. You sure? That's going out constantly. Beans on bread at this rate. So the oven works and stays on, but the grill doesn't. I'll Google it, because obviously if one's working... Well, there's gas flowing and there's, it's lit, but the problem is it, the, the grill don't stay lit. As soon as I let go, it just goes out. Just straight out. Right, that's something else for us to troubleshoot and Google. The thermocouple had not working apparently. Apparently, that's what I've been Googling, yeah. So we've managed to do the, the toast by keeping it held in. And then we're going to eat this and then um, look that up. Folded his little mat out so it doesn't get on the area of the bedding. And it's Lee's turn to wash up. Hey, what's my Guinness back, you? My 0% alcohol Guinness. Wait a minute, some washing. So, um, yeah, I'm going to Google this now. I'm pretty sure from what Lee's read, it's the thermocoupler that um, keeps the gas flowing. Right, this snagging list is getting just longer and longer and longer. The shopping list is getting longer and longer of things we need to get as well. So, I've tested it. And when you turn the oven, fully clockwise, uh, sorry, counterclockwise, right to the very end, as if you were turning the oven on, and then turn the knob back, it works fine. Let go of the knob, it lasts about 10 to 15 seconds, and then the knob just goes pop, and as if as if there's a switch inside it that's cutting off the thermocoupler inside the, of, inside the grill. So I've emailed the company that we bought it off, and told them, explained it, what, 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 what the problem is, and... I just need to wait for them to get back to me now to see how they're going to resolve it. I'm hoping that there's going to be like a service centre that I can take the van to and that somebody can fix it there and then or they can take the oven out and do a swap. Um, obviously, we've paid to have that installed by a gas fitter, but if the product's faulty, then the company who's provided it needs to sort it out and pay for another installation because I'm not paying twice. Um, so that's the situation. We have no grill unless you hold it in. It's almost time for bed. I've just been to the toilet block. I'm just going to clean my teeth and um, we'll see you in the morning. Hopefully we have another nice night's sleep. It's very windy though and you can hear it through the um, air vents. It's yeah. not just that, it's rocking the yeah. van. <laughs> the van's rocking tonight. Because it's hitting, it's hitting us side on. It's coming from behind us and yep. the sea's that way. So it's basically uh, hitting the van and, and wobbling. We'll let you know in the morning how we sleep. We're sleeping differently tonight. Oh, we're going to try sleeping that way just to see how it is. It might not last. After 10 minutes, I might be like, no, can't do it because you can't. Um, You're pinned in because I need to be able to I get know. out of the toilet. Nick goes to the toilet more than I do during the night. So uh, I'm going to go near the um, doors. So I might not like it. We'll see. Good morning. Time for breakfast. Good morning. I'm afraid it's not bacon sandwiches or sausage this morning. Marmite it's... on toast. Oh, yeah. We brought Marmite, didn't we? We did. Yep, Would you like toast. to describe the night's sleep we had? Worst night's sleep ever. Eating seven dwarves, seven, Snow White's seven dwarves in the moment at that bed. It's that short, it's that short. Never again. It was a little bit cramped, not being able to um, stretch out. So we'd- We'd never ever sleep like that. We'd be sleeping like that. Can you imagine if we'd have built the bed and we hadn't done an extender? What would have been like? Would have been like, well, I won't want to sleep in here again. The van had been so long. <laughs> the extender was the perfect um, idea. solution and idea. Goodbye. Bye. I'm off back to lodge. <laughs> Nick's off to use the shower block. Might as well. We have got 60 litres of water on, we'll just drain it off before we leave, but um, it would take 30 minutes. If we were having hot showers, I think it's really tall now. Um, if we did hot showers, it would take 30 minutes for the boiler to warm up, and then you're going to get a small and we're shower. We're going back to the lodge, so we don't want to wet, wet the shower through what's point. Yeah, and here I can have as long a hot shower as I want. Yeah. So I'll see you in a minute. Oh, it's a push button. You have to tell me when you get back. Oh, it's a push button. I don't know. You know what? Oh, I hope not. It goes off for 10 seconds at a time. Well, you'll have to. Right. See you in a bit. Bye. Just sat watching the uh, lovely blue sky. Since um, Lee's gone, the actual grey clouds have just swarmed in. He's just about to walk into the van now. Here he is. Now I'm 
nice shower. Yeah, not bad actually. Very warm. Hot shower it is, isn't it? Hot. I struggle to turn it down. I turn it down, just, just nice. Very nice. Right, get yourself ready, let's pack up. Right, we're setting off and in... I don't know if it's good news or just strange news. This... It makes it more concerning. come on. And it's working, so... Uh, we didn't do a thing. We didn't do a thing, no, it's just started working. Started working last night, actually. Um, so a very nice campsite, this. And um, now Nick has the lovely task of emptying the toilet on the way out. Wait a minute, like I said, you've used it just as much as I have. I've had a couple of number ones. You've, you've had, had number two. Six number ones. So, um, yeah, I would definitely stay here again. It's very nice. And here is the... Um, what do they call them? Elson, Elson points. Point. Yeah. And that's right. where the showers were. Right, I'll come and watch. Right. <laughs> Not looking forward to this bit. Right, wait a minute. Oh, it weighs a ton. Not surprised when you've done a freaking plop in there. Right, so you've got to lift that off. You left water in this. That's you flushing Just the toilet. Do it, do it there. Open wait it there. By the way, that toilet works perfectly, and it keeps it very clean no with that whatsoever. with that thing. So is that sealed now? Yeah, so that's sealed. That's pretty much sealed, yeah. And I guess this one doesn't have like a little walking trolley like the other one did. Oh, does it? No, you've just got to pick it up. Is that heavy? It's not as heavy as I thought it would. <laughs> the worst bit of van life. <laughs> right, so what you do is you turn this. Well, before you do it, freaking it wild it wind. Ugh. To make sure it's all broken down. Lovely. Then you take the cap off. I won't film this next bit, but then you just pour it's it down. It's all blue, you won't even recognise any of it. I don't want to recognise any of it, thank you. Oh, I don't want to get my hands on it. Well, no, we should, we should have um, gloves on now. It smells nice and clean, fresh, <laughs> from the uh, the chemicals that we've had in it. Well, it's as simple as that, and then just um, rinse it through with the uh, hose, and then we'll wash his hands. What's your thoughts on that then? Dead easy, that. It won't like the old one. Where it will remember blow, to it maybe like um, use gloves when we're doing that, even though you've not touched anything. I haven't touched anything, no. I've just used the handles. Well, there's some antibacterial wipes and stuff up there as well. I was saying to Nick earlier, now that we've slept by the sea and I could see it from the bedroom when I was laid down, that's what I want all the time, as much as possible. A sea view, wherever we're packed up. I know it's not gonna be possible all the time, but I really enjoyed that. Right, we're just in a car park, just picking something up and getting something from boys. And we've realized that we've forgotten a few things. We need to get a checklist written and then laminate it and stuff. We forgot to, um, Stole the TV away. And it swung out. It swung out. Right, hold on. Did we turn the inverter off? No, we didn't. There's loads of stuff we haven't done. I found some melamine mugs in boys. $1.99. Mm, any grey? No. Maybe we should get white then. Black. Uh, blue, red, yellow. I think white, because then it's, it's not adding another colour. Actually, we do have black in there, don't we? Well, yeah, we've got loads of black. Black would be a lot better. Right, we're now heading back to the lodge. Nick's going to start working on our snagging list that we've um, generated since we've been on our two nights away. And then uh, I've got two vlogs to edit. Right, we're back at the lodge and we're on with the snagging list and some enhancements list. So what I've been doing so far is I ordered a pair of curtains. Yes, curtain gate is not over yet. I ordered some curtains and I've just put a, we just called up at, um, at boys to get a rod. And I've just, it's really, really windy still. I just put one up in the van. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. So there we go. Just to hide the garage when we've got it open on summer's day so everybody can't see all the tools. So the hem webbing's gonna come out again and I've gotta put the other curtain in, but I've put the rod in. Nice, dead easy, simple rod. And then we've got a little hook thing here to, to hold it. Hold on, there we go. Hold it in place. Might need a bigger rod actually because it's not gonna move the curtain and then you can just drag it backwards and forwards whenever you want to get in. Makes it nice and easy, like that. So I've just got to measure the distance from the top of the curtain to where I want it to hang, and then go inside, cut it down, and then hem the edges and hem the bottom. 
Right, inside the van. I'll take them in in a bit and do it. I'm going to put now uh, a bolt that we got into the door here so we can keep the door open up there. So I'm just going to put that and put a tiny little hole in the ceiling just to um, fasten that up. So um, that should fit. That should take me two minutes, although nothing's ever that simple. There we go. Literally took me five minutes to do that. Took a bit of a um, getting the hole in the right position. The only downside is you get to see a hole in the roof now. But if I um, put some uh, paint onto the hole inside it, it will give it a bit more disguise. But if you stood from over here, you can't really see it. You can just see it there, look, tinily. Uh, so there we go. That's another job done. Fixed. What I've done is I've put an additional two screws in there at the either side of that, which goes through, but doesn't quite fully come to the top of the um, there. So there we go. Right, I've done every cupboard in the van. They're double screwed now, or triple, quadruple screw, two straight into the wood, two into these things that go into the back of the handles that just seem to pop out. They'll definitely hold them now. Uh, as long as the handle bit there doesn't split, which I'm sure it'll be fine. And if they do, they're four, four or five quid off Amazon. So they're all done. I've done these side as well, because that one came off. Uh, in fact, that one still looks a little bit cockeyed, actually, but uh, it'll be fine, I'm sure. This brings back nightmares of curtain gate. These aren't for sure, these are just for privacy of the back doors. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a theatre curtain. Like a show is going to go on behind that. It just protects everything in the garage so people just can't see everything. It would be I mean? nicer, I think, if we had a, uh, a thing across there too. We well, can't because you're going to have a black plastic step that's going to come up to that. You can have it like here. Like another rod, so that it keeps it completely straight. But then you'd have to climb over the rod every time you got in. Well, that's fine. So there's what I could do, no I flapping. Could, I could stitch some weights into the curtain when it's done, so it holds them down. But I've left them a little bit longer because it's going to be sitting on top of that plastic trim. In fact, the plastic trim is going to have a gap, so the curtains can dangle in between. But you just draw them like that. Mm. Need some tie backs. Get stuffed. Right, next job. When we um, got the sat nav, I never wired in. The microphone which I've now just run around the plastic and I just need to thread it through all the back of the dashboard for when we're doing telephone calls yeah because we made a call the other day and you said it were crap it wasn't the greatest without the microphone so I'm gonna run this in now and now this is working we're gonna put it back in. I don't believe I don't know Hopefully, I'm, it's I'm just... very concerned about that well I hope just... it's not a problem that's gonna like happen mm. in six months time in France or whatever so first job is I'm gonna poke this strip through when I want you to grab it Right, wait a minute, because I've got to get under. It's going to be difficult. Because I have Where's to it going to come up here? It's going to come out of the dashboard somewhere, yeah. Right, wait a minute, I can see light. I can see light. So I want to take it. Um, not that way anyway. This way. Caught me bitten head. Oh, hang on. Is, uh, Pull the radio out. I can. It's here somewhere. I just can't see it at the it's moment. There. Where? It's oh there. yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait a minute. Right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm gonna hold this with my hand and grab it. Right. Disconnect the cable. Wait a minute. Keep hold of it though. Right. There it is. How have you got this into this state? Hmm? Right. Rod out. Don't need that. This needs to go into the end of here. Friggin' hell, even more wires. Yep. And then that gets added to that block there and that will wire the mic up. And then we can put it back together. So next job for you, can you get me an electric screwdriver which is in the back on the sink? Hopefully this is the last time it gets put back together and it works. I'm still suspicious why it did it. Next screw. I can only think that when we did the pressure washing, some water's got in, because we've just looked under mm -hmm. the bonnet, and the bonnet seal is, ooh. That's not good sound. The bonnet um, seal is not uh, right. fab. Mm -hmm. So, it's connected. We just shift the gear stick, and then, 
this back in. No, as I recall, it's the swine. Yep, it's doing it again. Let's have a look how it goes in. So these pop in here. So I'll do the middle ones first. Middle and bottom. It's the middle. It's this here. So let's get the middle. I remember this last time and it took me about 15 minutes to get it clipped in properly. I've just done it in two. Right, we finally sat down for the afternoon. So I didn't film everything that I did in the van, but when we when we were out there and we were doing the trial, we made a big list of things that we need to buy, fix or upgrade. So I didn't vlog all of it. So the curtains you saw, um, we realised when we were using the kitchen worktops that they hadn't had enough um, oil on to stop um, rings. So there's a ring on the on the worktop from where a cup's been. So I've put another layer of oil on it. I've also silicon sealed around the edges and clear sealant so no water can get on the worktop down the backs. We forgot to do that. Um, we fitted the bolt on the ceiling. We've stuck the carpet down that was coming loose on the door. Uh, we still have to figure out what we're going to do with the door edge, whether we paint it or put a plastic trim on or whatever. Um, the slider on the side door was full of debris. We've been talking about getting this cleared out ever since we've been building the van, so I've done that today. What else have we done? Put the um, sat-nav back in. Put the sat-nav back in. I'm just, I'm still very, very, like, I'm weirded out by that, why that happened. Like, three times it happened, and then it stopped. And then the radio blew up, and then it fixed. And then... Anyway, so we've wired in the microphone that allows you to do um, hands-free on the sat-nav. It did have one on the screen, but it was really rubbish. So we've wired that in and done a test and Lee said it's fine. So all the wires go up above the dash, up around the window, down the door thread and then straight through the dashboard. What else? Um, we've cleaned the van out. Kind of. Kind of? Kind of. You need to clean the loo out properly. You can shop. I emptied the sodding thing. You can do that now. That was me. You yeah, need to get used was. to it. You need to go and get the hose pipe and you need to rinse it all down and then empty the bucket. There's no number twos or number ones in it, it's just a rinse. Anyway, um, what else have we done? So left on my list, hold on, I'll load it up. We're both absolutely exhausted. We said we're not having the bed in that configuration again. We knew that it was a good idea to do the extender, but it was a bad idea last night to, to sleep in the in the small person mold um right so these are the things that have got to be done now before the van is fully ready so external trims and clean get it wrapped we'll do the fly screen after we've done our uk road trip uh coin floor we're not sure whether we're going to put that down until we've had it weighed and see what weight we've got we may just put some lino down we've got to change the batteries to upgraded batteries at the back i still think that may be what has caused the um the weirded out things with the main car battery because it was giving such a drain to top those batteries back up we've got to upgrade our rac we've got to what step to fit oh the back trim yeah. checklist i need to do that when i get back in the bedroom actually decorate touch-ups or decor touch-ups that's a lot to do we've got some holes to fill when we put the rods into the uh, the table we've got to sort out the grill now so I've got to wait for the company that we bought it off to get back to me to see whether we can take it to a service centre and get them to fix it without removing it from the van and then paying for it to be reinstalled. We've got the holes in the seat that we've got to do some fills and some more touch-ups. That's on twice, actually, touch-ups. Uh, the door edge, where it goes into the secret door, it's just rough wood at the minute and we don't really know whether we're going to cover that or put plastic on it or whatever. I imagine it's going to be a never-ending list. Probably. Be ever evolving. Probably. Uh, and then these are the things that we've ordered from Timu. So, uh, well, uh, we've got to get a drone for when we do our road trip. But that's not coming from Timu, we're just going to get that from Amazon. So we've got to put um, a camera in the cab and fix it to the headliner shelf facing through the window so that when we are in bed on a night, we can see traffic, uh, we can see things in front of us because that was half the problem. We couldn't see through the door when the door was shut in the cab. So we said we've got an old um, CCTV camera that we bought from Wish years ago. So we're just going to screw that to the ceiling and wire it in. Um, I haven't got an idea of how I'm going to get the power there. I haven't told Lee yet, but we'll sort that out later. And then 
Janine is fetching us some mats from Ikea so we can cut them down and make some mats for the footwells. We have got a bin coming from Timu that hooks over the door and but then also will be stowed away when we're not using it. Because the, what we were having, the problem we were having when we were in the van this weekend is there was just a bin bag on the floor permanently and we don't want that. And I've also got a phone holder that comes in two pieces that, that connects to either end of the phone here and here. And then you slot your phone in, you can, you can screw them in at whatever distance apart you want and then screw your phone in. So that's needed for when we're laid in bed on a night and we can put a phone on the control panel above. But um, what else? I think that's a, quite an extensive list. We've done quite a lot today. It actually feels like we've done another day in the van. But I just need to get all this stuff now from uh, Timo and then we'll start again. And then next week it's going in for its wrap. Just watching Downton. We are episode five, uh, season five, episode six, and Lee just said, "Fancy a McFlurry?" Oh, McFlurry. Whatever. For the rest of the country. Whatever. It's whatever we say it is. And um, I, I can't said, even bother driving all the way to <laughs> McDonald's. So it's twelve miles to the nearest yeah, McDonald's and twelve miles ride. back. Do they just so, eat? Mind you, it'd be it'd be um, no, we can't, by the time got yeah. yeah, you you can't do that. So we said we will go to the nearest co-op and uh, maybe get some Halo Top instead of a McFlurry. So we're going to finish the vlog, so we hope you enjoyed and then we're shop. these last couple of uh, vlogs with us going away in the van. Um, I mean, I would have gone away again tonight, me, but... I did actually think, <laughs> I did actually think, if it, if it wasn't so... I mean, the wind spoiled it the last 24 hours. When, yeah, we, the first, when we first got to the lay-by, it was like, ah, oh, this is like the freedom that I wanted. And then the weather's not still not right yet to go and do things like that. And then when we got to the campsite yesterday and the van door almost blew off it was fine it was gale force winds and i did think maybe i should just book another night mm. but well at the same place yeah oh no i would i like i like the venturing around different places i know but it was nice having the sea view and waking up this morning with the sun i just wish it were warm enough to be able to get the door open and put the seats outside and just sit there while you make a cup of tea mm. so so we're going to get yeah. it wrapped this week and then we'll go on more adventures and um, try more things. So, well, we've got um, that list to finish. Yep. We've got the, once it comes back from the wrap, we've got to sort the, the grey and smoky bumpers. So we'll either put Polytrol on it or we'll we'll use um, a dye that you can get from Amazon. We haven't decided what we're going to do yet. Mm -hmm. um, it depends what it looks like with the, um, with the dark grey and the lighter bumpers in reverse. If it looks titty, we'll just get some black stain like i said and then we've got to tidy up those back bumpers and things like that come on if we're off a halo top and then we're ready finish the vlog then we're ready <laughs> it's going to be one of those things it's going to be a, a an ongoing continuous thing ever evolving never never complete it's going to be like disney world it will never it's going to have and that's why i'm taking tools with us and spare parts so i can fix things while we're on route yeah um but there's still things that we need to do that ha that aren't done yet to make it inhabitable habitable mm. so if you're new to our channel guys don't forget to click the subscribe button click scan the qr code that's on the screen now uh, drop us a comment below we read all comments and um I click the no chocolate flavor shush click the notification bell so you get an alert on your mobile or your tv or whatever when we have new videos go live and um we're off down to the shop are we getting chocolate flavored no nope. we'll get one each i'll have chocolate oh i know what i'm gonna get see you on the next vlog bye, bye.